Welcome everybody to TDV Groups. My name is James Guzman and uh, we've had the pleasure of having Jonathan Lockwood with us and uh, he has uh, decided to take a trip to Latin America to check out his options. So I just thought I'd uh, talk to him about his trip and, and how it uh, went for him. So uh, first of all I just wanted to ask you uh, what was it that made you want to take this trip in the first place? For a few years uh, I've been coming to the conclusion that in the United States of America, I was surrounded by more people with whom I fundamentally disagreed than people with whom I agreed. And I have no problem with people who have opinions that differ from mine, but when their opinions end up utilizing force against me or stealing from me, uh, I have a problem with that. And uh, I came to see things that way. So I began to look a few years ago at all of the different options for expatriating. Uh, I respect the people who want to stay and fight. I don't. I would just like to find a better venue. So I began to look at all of my options and among those uh, criterion for me there was, well, freedom. Okay. There was also a way to minimize my taxation and there was also the issue of climate, frankly. And climate's a big one because there are a lot of interesting places to move in the, in the world right now. But unfortunately they're all frigging humid. And I just cannot take the humidity, James. <laughs> so at the top of my list were Chile, Central Chile, where you know the TDV folks are, are putting together that great Galt's Gulch Chile project. I went there for a few weeks earlier this year in January and February. I loved the land there near Curacaví. I loved Santiago. I loved the coast there at Viña del Mar. Had a great time. I met fantastic people. Interestingly, mostly who were affiliated with TDV, who I just had some of the best conversations I ever had in my life. And it just seemed like that area was was a really great option. The next place I wanted to come was here, was to uh, San Miguel de Allende, Mexico. Jim Carger, a TDV correspondent, has written a lot of articles. He's made it look really attractive. And uh, for me, it's not too humid. It's dry. We're here probably during one of the most humid times of the year, but it's still not bad, mm, you know, and it's great. not that hot. As far as I'm concerned, the weather is perfect here. And, uh, you know, as far as freedom is concerned, some, some uh, wise person once told me that, uh, you know, as a, as a believer in the free market, the free market creates good things. Government generally creates mostly bad things. And uh, the United States, I believe, has gotten really good at creating bad things. Mm -hmm. And while Mexico is not necessarily philosophically the most free place in the world, it's kind of jacked up in some ways. So it is inefficient at creating bad things. And uh, so that's the next best thing to a more freedom-oriented government basis. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, so it sounds like you, you, you yourself preferred San, San Miguel to Santiago. Uh, well, that's where I am at this point. For mm -hmm. me, it's right. going to be easier to make this move from Phoenix, where mm -hmm. I live. And uh, there are some things about infrastructure here as far as the internet, which is necessary for the work that I do, um, that, that seem like they're workable for me mm -hmm. here. This town is just really easy to fall in love with. Uh, the streets seem like something out of Spain or France or something. It, they remind me a lot of Madrid. That was yeah, one of the big yeah. things in the bars as well. Yeah. You're completely transported mm -hmm. in this town. I've never been in a town exactly like this. The people seem to be very friendly to Americans. Uh, Jim Carger was telling me the other day that Americans have been pouring in here since the 1930s. There really is no one alive today who remembers a time when Mexicans and Americans, Canadians, Europeans didn't mix, you know, very well, and so they've kind of gotten used to it. And uh, uh, I enjoy the I enjoy the interactions with them. Mm -hmm. Another thing I like about it is I'm trying to improve my Spanish. They mostly know English here, so it's taken the pressure off as far as you know ha getting thrown into the deep end. You know, right. and I like that. I'm I'm improving every day. So, do you see a place like San Miguel somewhere that somewhere for you who's from the United States? Um, somewhere that you could realistically live and Absolutely. realistically settle down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in fact, I'm, uh, I'm just about ready to go ahead and make that final decision, but I've made a commitment to myself that I'd make it you know, later at the end of my trip. But mm. uh, absolutely, this seems like the most realistic option for me, all mm -hmm. things considered as far as what it's going to take to move here and what it'll be like when I get here. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. So uh, any other good experiences? Have you had any experiences with some... How are the women down here? Oh, the women are fantastic here. Yeah. <laughs> Um, no, like I said, it's a very friendly town, and uh, funny story, you know, uh, back in Phoenix, sometimes I use the, the Plenty of Fish, uh, mm -hmm. you know, sort of online introduction site, and I didn't know this, but while I was sitting at Hank's Bar there in, in El Centro here in San Miguel, I got a notification, and I picked up my phone, and sure enough, it was 
plenty of fish. I thought it was some girl back in Phoenix. No, it was a girl in San Miguel de Allende. And she asked, where are you? And I thought, how in the hell do you know? Apparently, okay, this, this is a little scary, but GPS has got me figured. And uh, even the, uh, the girls here are able to track me down. So I was able to get together with her last night. We went out drinking and dancing, had a great time. In fact, uh, we spent the day today in Caretero. She took me on some sightseeing tours and stuff. And we're going to have dinner tonight. So Wonderful. Very friendly town, San Miguel. <laughs> <laughs> that's great well uh, I think that pretty much sums it up um, I know we really appreciate having John Lockwood down here and, and uh, taking advantage of the CDV groups and if anybody out there would like to do the same thing uh, all you have to do is go on cdvgroups.com and check out the website or subscribe to the Dollar Vigilante at dollarvigilante.com and we look forward to seeing you uh, thanks for watching